in what? my opinion, 90% of chiropractic practice right now is not founded on the philosophy. Most chiropractors don't even, haven't become familiar with the philosophy. I can go teach chiropractic philosophy to almost any group of chiropractors and have most of them say, I've never heard that before. I've just never heard that before. And, and the political branch of chiropractic says that old-fashioned philosophy is an is a, is a anchor around our neck. It's an obstacle. It's holding us back. I've been working on that philosophy. I think it's probably one of the most brilliant models of the universe that takes into account consciousness instead of just dismissing it. But the profession has not embraced that. The profession has, in the last... 30 years, the time I've been in the profession, a member of my own profession, I have seen the profession systematically rejecting that. I have seen that as, as the profession of chiropractic said, we want to become part of the healthcare system, we have to have more recognition by the medical doctors, we have to be part of that whole system, we have to become partners in it. I have read the statements from the Harvard School of Medicine that sound something like this. Yeah, we think chiropractors is okay as long as they stick to treating low back pain and headaches. But if you go to one of those guys who talks about innate intelligence and how correcting a subluxation could possibly expand their health potentials, they're crazy, don't have anything to do with them. So I think chiropractic's very close to getting the exact acceptance it thinks it wants. As long as we'll just throw the chiropractic philosophy out the window, I think we could get accepted by the medical profession as a member of the team. By the way, we have a wonderful example of a, pay, of a whole practice that's already followed that path. It's called osteopathy, and I don't see that the chiropractic profession is the political guiding forces in the chiropractic profession are headed anywhere else. I just don't see it, and I've been asking this question for 30 years. But here's the thing. The only people that I find excited about chiropractic in the chiropractic profession just like the only people that I, I've never found anybody excited about actual osteopathy in the whole osteopathic profession. The only people I still find excited about chiropractic in the chiropractic profession are the ones who are practicing chiropractic in spite of the way the profession's headed. I mean, I can't make it more clear than that. And there's lots of them. I think there are lots of my colleagues out there who say, yeah, the really exciting thing is if I could get people adjusted regardless of what the diagnosis is. Does it really make any difference to me if it treats this disease or treats that disease or doesn't treat anything at all? Let's get them adjusted. But the politics of the profession is narrowing us more and more into the limitations of the therapeutic approach, which says you don't get to do what you, can, what you want to do until you can prove what condition it treats. Do you think the politics are like that because of the need to help chiropractors be successful and they're taking the easiest path to success by going after pain, go, going after treatment. I think that's a delusion because I know way too many chiropractors who are vastly successful by following the philosophy. But I think that it's an, it seems like an easier path to build a practice and have lots of patients if you follow the current practice building acquiring patient model, which ain't chiropractic's model at all. It's therapeutics. It's what pain can you treat? We know this. I think it's, it's a total cop-out to say, well, I'm just going to do it that way because that's what everybody else works for everybody else. Chiropractic's been saying since its beginning, well, the only thing that chiropractic is distinctive is, is that it's different than that. It's what B.J. Palmer figured out 80 years ago. We're not going to be able to compete with who can treat what disease. We're going to correct the subluxation and let the body treat the disease. But, you know, the... The therapeutic paradigm has gotten stronger and stronger and stronger in the last century, right? I mean, medicine has put, put out a business, tried to put out a business, any alternatives, and not only alternative therapies, also alternative approaches. And the only alternative approach I know to disease treatment is health facilitation. And what's the nature of our healthcare business right now? 95% disease treatment. So I don't see any way to solve that because that's not chiropractic's problem. That is a larger problem. It's the problem of a, an entire culture dominated by the value of crisis intervention and absolutely dismissive of the value of health principles. That's, I mean, what can I say? I didn't even think up the, contra the contest. It's been going on for 2,500 years. 
but chiropractic philosophy keeps driving us toward the idea that chiropractic is more of a health enhancing principle than it is a specific therapeutic for any particular disease. And so I think the chiropractic profession has 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 is throwing the baby out in order to keep the bathwater. The one nugget of truth in there is that if chiropractic cared the way I experienced in my lifetime, since I was two, just getting my spine checked when I need to be checked, not because I had this disease, that disease, or the other disease, not to get me over my mumps, just get my spine checked regularly, is a health care strategy, not a disease treatment strategy. If I had my way, I would say, come and see your chiropractor. This these claims have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of any particular disease. Because by golly, we can, we can sell them on wholesome foods as long as we say that, but you can't sell chiropractic as a way to be healthier because chiropractors think they want to be a better way to treat low back pain and headaches. Whose problem is it? Not mine, because that's not what chiropractic has been in my whole life. But it sure seems like it's the profession's major problem. It can't decide whether it just wants to be spinal manipulative therapy really wants to embrace these larger implications of adjusting the spine. Half the profession is saying they don't exist. No such thing.